In this video, let's take a look a bit deeply how objects works in JavaScript. So, we know that we can create simple objects just with defining this object and setting pair, pairs name and value, key and value. But we can do it a bit more complex and we can create object in another way. First of all, what we need to know that each property in object has three additional fields. They are hidden, but we can take a look on them. So it's writable. By default, all these fields are true. Writable. If it's true, we can, we can change value. So it will be edited. Enumerable. If it's true, we can list it in loops. This value I will show you. And configurable. It means we can delete this property. Let's take a look on these properties. So, first of all, to get this property, we need to use object get own property descriptors. So, we need to pass object and uh, key name. Let's, let's run it. So, we see we have name maxim and we have property name with next fields. First of all, we have value, of course, because of, we need to save this value and we have these fields, writable and other. All of them are true and we can change this property. And now we can edit this property, change them. How we can do it? To do it, we can use object defined properties. So using this function, we can create a new properties but if we already have this property, we can edit it and add some configuration. For example, so we need to pass again object. The next one, it will be field name again. And the third argument, it will be object with the properties, this descriptor. So for this descriptor, we can redefine value and we can do it writable false. For example, let's do it absent false. And now we can okay define properties it's in case we need to define a few properties but for one we can use define property let's run again so we see here we have name we just output this user and let's try to change something so we know it, that we can edit this property Let's reassign Maxim again, but user, so we see that user wasn't changed. So we can try to edit it, but we can't change this object. So this object is right now, it's a constant, complete constant, and you can't edit this object, but But you can easily add a new field and you can edit it. But you can't change name. So it means that we can create a property that you can't edit or you can change how you can use it. So with writable, we understand that if we change this name, we cannot edit this value. For example, can we delete it? We have delete operator. So we see false and user. And right now we can't delete it because of we put configurable false and uh, enumerable. How we can use it? To show the sample, let's take a look on this cycle. We know it. We already know this cycle. Console log. Let's console log key. Let's run again. Oh, we see that we output it 
user, but let's close it. Let's add them. Let's run again. So this is just age. So we added two properties. It's age and name. But when we are using cycle to go through the all properties in this object, we see that we have just age. So this field was closed. The same when we try to use to string, for example. We know that we have this method. It's a part of the object. But when we are using cycle to go through this object, it's hidden. So we can define it. And now we see that when we go through the object, we see that we have to string and age. And also if we call We will get value what we put here. So it was how we can use these variables. Why do we need them? Sometimes we need to create object that can be mutated or can be edited. It means that you have to provide objects that user can't modify. It's uh, pretty important and sometimes very often part. But usually we do not do it directly. We are using some libraries. For example, immutable jazz, which is doing the same. And let me show you object defined properties in case we need to define a few properties on the same time. So we have the same user. Second argument should be object. And for this object, for example, name, it will be object. So we define property name with value and all fields we need. Let's do it a bit better. So now it looks better. And for example, And that's it, everything what we need. And now we see that we have to string from object defining. We have name default, but it was updated to the new one. And we have age. And we cannot update age. So that's it. Thank you for watching.